y'all. It's the Farming Pastor's Wife. Thank you for joining me. Um, if you've watched any of my previous videos, you know that um, my church family has been providing a lot of meals for us um, due to my hospital stay. But tonight is not one of them. And tonight also, my husband is preaching a revival, and it's about 45 minutes away. So tonight's supper is going to have to be quick and easy. And I'm going to... Um, let y'all watch me fix supper, but I kind of wanted to tell you what it is first. I'm going to make buffalo chicken pizza. Now, this is my recipe. When my kids and my husband and my family go to the beach, we love to eat at California Pizza. And we always get the buffalo chicken pizza. So, I came home and kind of mimicked my own um, buffalo chicken pizza. And I buy store-bought crust. Everything is easy. This is one of those quick night meals. Now, if you want to be really good, you boil your chicken breast. I knew tonight was going to be a rush night. And I wanted to do something more than the pizza, so I had other stuff to cook. So, the, and, it, and it actually is a better flavor if you buy the rotisserie chicken. Um, and so that's what I did. However, I bought it at a local grocery store, and it was a little pricey. If you live near a Sam's, you can get the rotisserie chickens for $4.99. I paid more for mine, but only out of convenience. Uh, we do not have a Sam's nearby. And so, anyway, what I'll do is I'm going to pull the chicken off the bone and soak it. <clears throat> Y'all, I don't know if you have a food line near you, but um, the food line buffalo sauce, um, wing sauce, delicious, and um, we really like this. So, well, I'll pull the chicken, put it in a bowl, and let it soak in the buffalo sauce for a little bit. And I bought a store-bought ready-made pizza crust, and I'll, I'll show you how I'm going to make it. The second thing I'm going to make is kind of going to be an Italian night. So the second thing I'm making is going to be calzones, sausage calzones. So I'm going to fix to fry up my sausage um, for that. This is a Pioneer Woman recipe, the calzones. Um, so um, you can definitely find her recipe online. Um, but I just thought you'd, and this is the, my first time making it. So who knows if it's going to turn out or not. But um, I'm going to try it. So, and I'm bringing y'all along with me. Just, we're going to try it. Um, and, and you can just see how a normal um, wife, mom does these recipes. I don't have sous chefs cutting and preparing. And so, anyway, um, I'm going to, it's a little early to get started yet. I just got home from the grocery store. And, um, but I'll bring you back when we get ready to get started, Okay. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, y'all. So the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to get our yeast rolls out and rising. And let's see. I'm trying to get this. Maybe that's better. I hope you can hear me. Um, so I'm going to spray my bread pan. And, and we're using yeast rolls, and this is going to be like the dough for our um, calzones. Now for Easter, I opened, I didn't make, a lot of times I make homemade yeast rolls. Yeah, I wasn't feeling that froggy this Easter, so I bought Rhodes, and they are, they're, they're delicious. So we're just going to lay out. It's 1 o'clock now. I'm wanting to eat around 5, but I'll probably make these a little uh, earlier. So we're just going to get these out and set them apart. Um, where we can let them rise. They'll rise about 2 hours, 2 to 3 hours. I'm going to get an extra one on there in that bottom row. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh, let's go extra on all of the rows. 
The recipe actually calls for 16. So we'll make, we'll get four on there. Good grief. There is a noise outside. <laughs> sure what it is oh my goodness now so there we go I have two left oh. kind of a shame to let them go to waste but anyway I have another bag so we can just add them to the other bag I'm just gonna pull some saran wrap off and get these covered up do while they're frozen and cold this is the only way I know to do it because if I try to hold hold it up and do it it all gets wrinkled up so I'm just going to spray the saran wrap now pick it up and lay it on top and that way it won't stick to your yeast rolls I'm going to go set this in the dining room so it can start rising I know what that sound is now. My husband's scraping the driveway. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and chop our onion. And I'm going to show you guys how I chop an onion. See, I don't know if you can see this very well. Let me... We'll try this. The you've got the point here, and then this is the root ball point. I don't cut it this way. I cut it half and half, like from from the root ball to the the top part. Okay, and the reason I do that is because now I have this root ball that kind of holds the onion together while I slice it. So I just take the end off, we'll trash it, and I normally get off the loose papery covers because they just make a mess up here. But anyway, and then I slice it, I hold my hand on the top, oh I'm sorry that's wiggling y'all, I know, and slice it, and slice it this way, and then now I'm going to go down this way. And I'm not going all the way to the root ball because that root ball is holding everything together for us. But I can go as far as I want to go. Okay, now I've sliced it this way and I've sliced it this way. So now we're going to go back down across and see, look, you've got little bitty fine diced onions. It's the easiest, most perfect way to chop an onion, I think. You get back here to the root ball, and you can either keep going or throw it away. So I'm going to do a little bit more than that. This is going to go in our sausage. We're actually going to saute it up, and it's going to go in our sausage. Woo! These must be getting old. Burning my eyes. Oh my goodness. See, I always get sweet onions. But these I had bought prior to my hospital stay. I'm sorry, I know that is jiggling y'all and making a terrible noise on the camera and I'm sorry. Since these are getting old, they've got some growth right here. I'm gonna pull that out. Okay, and then I'm just gonna slice down again this way. Now there's a little more give because there's a hole in the middle where I took that piece out. And then we're just going to go this way. And there's your diced onions. So easy. So there you go. 
I probably won't do all of that, but I can put some in a bag. So anyway, I'm going to go over here to the stove and um, get these sauteing. Okay, y'all, so whew, that onion burnt my eyes. And I just thought of what I'd do with the extra. Because I'm making the buffalo chicken pizza, so my kids like onions on it. My husband does not. So I'll put onions on half of it. Or if I have enough chicken to do two pizzas, I will um, put it on one and not the other. All right, let me get my oven on. And I put a couple tablespoons of butter. And we'll get that soft, softened. And um, we'll get our onions in. Gracious, the onion was strong. Yeah, I don't know if I have enough memory on my phone to do these videos the way I'm wanting to do. So i got to figure out how to get some more memory on my phone. Because we bought a camera. Brian got me a camera for Christmas. And to do my um, cooking and YouTube videos on. But it has terrible, terrible quality of pictures. I mean, my, my phone does so much better and y'all this my son loves to watch those well he don't love to watch them but if he ever catches an infomercial on TV then he is fascinated I mean he doesn't seek them out but if he's if he happens to catch one then he just buys in or whatever they're selling and so he just thought the copper pan commercials were so cool how you could just put a piece of cheese, no oil or anything, just put a piece of cheese in there and it scorched to the bottom and it just slides right out. It's true, it does it. We actually, <laughs> we actually tried it out. But for Christmas, um, I got him a copper pan. <laughs> Even though I'm the cook, I got him a copper pan. All right, it's starting to melt a little bit. I'm gonna, I don't know why I turned it on medium. But I'm gonna go ahead and put some onions in there. And let me just say, the first thing you do when you cook, wash your hands and check for loose hairs. That is my motto. We wash our hands and we check for loose hair. Y'all, I have found, my thing, if my husband ever were to find a hair in his food, it could be his own. He doesn't have hair. He's bald-headed now. But when he did, it could have been his very own hair right after he washed it. And just finding a hair in his food made him absolutely sick. He could not handle it. Now, I'm that way if I'm at a restaurant or out or I don't know whose hair it is. But I guess if I knew it was my own and I had washed it, I'd be okay. I don't think it would gross me out. I don't know. But my thing is bones. <clears throat> and so I'm going to show y'all someday, <laughs> soon hopefully, my salmon patties. And I have found salmon patties that are boneless. I mean, cans of salmon that are boneless. And y'all, it's just worth the extra money not to have to dig out them bones and fear leaving one in there. And, um, I just think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. Very much so. Now, y'all, I want to show you this. This is home grown or home raised uh, sausage. Not from us. Um, that's my next goal is to get a pig and um, raise, raise him for meat. But um, this is a friend of ours who lives um, not too terribly far away. And um, this is his sausage. And it is so good. And it is so lean. It's a good thing I put butter in here to do these onions because 
um, this pork, this sausage is so lean, it needs a little extra fat. Mmm, smells good. Mmm, 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 I'm going to put this sausage down in here. And I'm going to start to fry this up and squish it up. I watched this other lady on YouTube and she shows and shares gadgets that she really likes. So, I thought I'd show you one that I really like. If I can get it out. It actually has its pros and cons. And it's this little meat. Um, oh, I don't know what you call it. But it breaks up your meat when you're frying it. Like for hamburger or in this case sausage. Um, the only problem is you get meat stuck up in the grooves and you have to go in and dig that out and then be sure that that meat is cooked because you don't want it falling out and putting raw meat in your cooked meat. So you just have to be sure. I had a hair on me after I was talking about hair and I think it was a string. So anyway, I'm going to fry this sausage up. I'm going to turn it up just a little bit. I turned it too, too far down. And once I get this cooked up and the onions mixed in, I'm going to put it on a plate and um, let it cool because I really can't do anything with it till it cools and so um, I may sprinkle some Italian seasoning in it I think her recipe like I said this is a pioneer woman I saw it on her show not long ago now she made her own homemade marinara sauce and it looks really really easy to do I just don't happen to have the time today. Or, I'm not even sure I have the energy because really this is the first time I'm cooking other than what little bit I did at Easter um, since being home. So, And I find that standing tires me out. Now I'm going to take this and just knock off this meat that gets caught in the center. My son's going to ask this young lady to the prom, or he's planning on it. And I can't wait to share with you how he's wanting to do it. I can't do it now just because I don't want her to see it till after he's done it. But I'm kind of excited to see. <laughs> it. He shared with me how he wants to do it. And my daughter says, that's so corny. But it was actually kind of cute because it just seems so much like my son. You know, just it just had his personality written all in it. And, um... So we'll see. You may say no. <laughs> that would be bad. That would be a shot to his ego. While I was in the hospital, my husband took Isaac to his college and he's actually already registered for classes and um, I didn't get to go. I was doing better and so I told them to go ahead. But 
I hate I didn't get to go, but I'm glad he got registered. And so now let the let the dorm shopping begin. Of course, that'll have to wait till after the grandbaby arrives. Not my son's baby, <laughs> but my daughter's. We are so excited. I have a daughter that's 25 and she's six and a half her first baby. And then our son is 18. He's getting ready to go off to school. Which, the first expecting a grandbaby makes me very happy, but my son going off to college, makes, it makes me happy and proud, but it makes me sad too. Alright, I believe this sausage is cooked up good, so I'm just going to turn it off. I'm going to grab a plate. And y'all, there's not much grease in here at all. And then what some of it is, is the butter from the onions. But we're going to let this napkins drain. Soak up any grease that's in there. And then we're just going to let this cool. So right now I have my yeast rolls rising for the calzones. This is going to be the meat that goes in the calzones. So my sausage is cooked, onions are in there, oh I didn't put any Italian seasoning, but what I'll do when I make my mixture, I'm actually going to mix this with some cheeses, when I make my mixture, I can put that in there then, in fact that will probably be better put in there then. So anyway, alright. Get all them onions out. Okay, well, I will bring you back, y'all, when it is ready. Um, won't be long. I'll start shredding the chicken. And, um, yeah, I'll start shredding the chicken and putting the buffalo sauce. Oh, you don't want to look at my light there, do you? Anyway, I'll start shredding the chicken and um, soaking it in the buffalo sauce. And so I will bring you back then. Hey guys, sorry if you can hear the TV behind me or in front of me, but um, y'all stay tuned for part two of the video for Italian night where I make the, the pizzas and the calzones. I'm having to upload it on two separate videos. So um, be sure to stay tuned and watch um, part two along with part one. Um, I'm having to do it on two separate videos so part two will be um, uploaded a little later than part one so but thank y'all for watching